Okay, we're back. Uh, we were doing orc last time, I think. Yes, we're gonna do orc. So that's why we're here. Hey, I remember. I remember. Don't, don't worry, guys. I got you. Uh, this is kind of awkward. We're already surrounded by stuff. Why do we have such low health already? What? I'm confused. Okay, thankfully everything just died. Feels good, man. All right, I feel like I need a button on ZB. I need to go get my hydras. I think that's what that's trying to say. Let's go get the Hydra first. Summon Hydra. No, not in that book, you silly. What is that summon doing over there? What the hell? Alright. Alright, game. I, I see what you're trying to do. Oh, I picked up a book of power. Uh, ordinarily, any other mage would be jumping for joy to get that spell, but unfortunately, we're a summoner, so we don't give a single crap about it. That's fine, though. Uh, Guardian Golem, I would say, is probably the one spell I don't really care for in these summoning book. It's just, it's usually just not necessary, honestly. Let's see, what else do we want to do? Everything looks pretty good so far. We've got, like, most of the stuff we want. Ideally, now we just kind of win the game off whatever summons we have at the time. Uh, let's actually put, no, nah, okay, Hydras can be on ZB. No, actually, let's put Hydras on ZG, because for some reason I usually have Hydras on ZG. Don't ask why. I have no idea either. Um, so Hydras, Summon Hydra will be a very effective spell for just taking out a ton of um, enemies really quickly. Uh, but they have to be pretty weak. Hydras are fairly squishy and have some issues. Like, look at that, they just explode to orcs. Like, they're not very good uh, against multiple enemies, which is weird. You would expect them to be uh, good against exactly that scenario, but nope. That's fine. Um, there, are, It's an okay spell. It's kind of inefficient, but... The thing that's good about Hydra form, oh sorry, not Hydra form, my god, I don't know why, but um, got the hiccups or whatever, some kind of congestion in the throat. Uh, Hydra form tends to be just, oh crap, oh Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, oh god, get him guys, oh god. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> One shot took out like 40% of my HP. I was... I was pissing myself there. Hey, look, a potion shot. Wow. Um, that's... Hmm. Great. I guess we'll be using that eventually, right? Don't worry, if we, if we need a treasure trove, we'll be fine. We'll, we'll just... Easy. The strats, boys. Alright, I don't know why, but summoning... Hydras is very hard at 11%. That's really weird. Normally you wouldn't expect that, but hey. <gasps> Protection ring! Ah, uh, plus one. Gross. Never mind. Change my mind. Don't worry. Don't even want it, guys. Don't even want it. Alright, so Lightning Spire will be kind of useful here. Not really, though. Unfortunately, Lightning Spire is one of those spells where, as a pure summon, it's... Uh, as, if you're like a pure summoner, it's actually not horribly good because it interferes a lot with your uh, other summons. It, it doesn't want to shoot your allies. So, you know, if you summon too much stuff, it becomes a lot less effective. Uh, weirdly enough, yeah, it's like just one of those spells where you want to kind of have it as your only thing out at the time. Like, once it's like this, I can get a couple of free shots in, but it's not, like, hugely effect uh, effective. Alright, we want to get as many uh, mono worms as we can out, because those guys are the ones that will do pretty good damage and also uh, take care of the blue rope guys. The, what are they? Walk High Priests. Let's just walk back here. Let the Hydra, let the uh, Mono Viper take care of all the problems. Summon two Mono Worms because we know that uh, he wants to fight us. I know he has Abjuration, um, but that doesn't matter because we can just summon more stuff. Abjuration doesn't work if you just keep summoning, right? Okay, never mind, it's working. Holy shit, please. No, please focus this guy. Let's get a Hydra out. Nope. Okay, we miscast that. That's fine. That's fine. It's all good. It's still good. Alright, get him, Mono Vipers. Notice how hilariously unnecessary uh, my reactions are to single enemies. One Orc Wizard. Quick, two Mono Vipers. It just goes to show that it really doesn't matter uh, with summoning. Especially with Mummy. Like I said, degenerate gameplay. Any, any action you can take that minimizes the chance of death, even though it's extremely tedious, should be taken on a Mummy, because it's just... Just makes it easier, really. Uh, there's no time limit for this character at all, so we don't care at all. We can just continue to do this forever and ever and ever. 
until the game like finishes without us. Pretty straightforward, eh? Look at that. Easy peasy. Uh, I think there's actually a hard cap on crawl. Um, I, I vaguely remember the trivia section or something uh, of, a, of a game where if you if you go past like a certain number of million points or something, uh, the game gives you like this death screen where it's like, oh, the orb is not, it, like, even though you could have picked up the Orbazot by now, you didn't, and now the Orbazot, there's no reason for you to have it, so the game just ends. But I don't know if that's still in the game. I don't think anyone's even bothered to try. All I know is that, you know, there is no real hard limit, especially because we're actually playing the game. As long as we're still, like, actively kind of playing the game, there is no time limit for a mummy, so pretty good. Lack of food really does not hurt us at all. Which is why the summons uh, thing is so much better for a mummy. I can just like infinitely cast my summons. It's only a mana based thing. Usually by the time you're playing summoner you're kind of low on EXP. You kind of have a little bit of a deficit here and there. Oh god really? There we go. Um, you're usually like gonna start to death because you're trying to balance between getting stuff done and having enough uh, power in your summons uh, with starvation because you know the higher level spells obviously cost a lot more hunger so you know you'll be you'll be struggling a little bit but with this character we don't care at all it doesn't matter uh, there is nothing in this shop surprisingly oh wizard ring is actually okay um, and I'm actually willing to pick that up just because we could potentially use it instead of that uh, instead of that uh, magical power that we have on. <sighs> Torment Scroll, another nice pickup. Always good. Potions. Uh, potion shop, that's a bit of a joke, but you know. Alright, let's just summon a bunch of stuff and then start walking around. Uh, ideally, we want to just create as much of a confusing mess of monsters as we can so we don't get hit by stuff. There we go. It's kind of just that strategy where you just. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Where did you guys all come from? What? Can you just attack the red? Oh, this is a bit awkward. Okay, uh, let's let's dig this way so we have a nice little corridor to shoot by, and then we'll just let our lightning spire do some work, and we'll summon some hydras behind it so that if they break free, they'll have they'll be in for a nice surprise. Go, my friends. Go, my goons. Attack. Attack my pets. Go. Alright, great. Perfect. Whoa, that was weird. Alright, let's just dig. Oh, we should probably ID the digging wand. Just because we want to uh, not waste. Oh, that's another stone giant. Holy shit. Holy shit. Please get away from me. Hell yeah. <laughs> and avoiding enemies is just... Oh, it's... There is no other real way to to say it other than degenerate. It's a very cowardly playstyle, but you know, we live for that shit, so that's what we're into. Uh, we really don't need this dagger of electrocution, I guess. Eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. We'll hold on to it. We have so many free slots because we can't drink potions. It's just uh, what a, what a, what a strong race as a result. All right, Spider's Nest is a nightmare for this character, I think. Uh, it's it's kind of a nightmare. Uh, this, there's a reason why the uh, the Tarantellas if they hit us we we die. We 100% cannot win. Um, we it's just all RNG if we get hit by a single Tarantella because confusion can be stacked and we can never get out of it. So uh, yeah, we will 100% just be killed. Um, so we need to be basically always sitting in a cloud of just infinity summons. Um, Any time we are not in a cloud of summons, we are really vulnerable. So even here, like knowing that there's going to be a couple of enemies, I'm just still going to get just an ally or two. Okay, I miscast again. It's fine. Okay, let's just get some more allies with us. Like you just have to be very careful here. Oh Jesus Christ! Like look, even here we're already in some deep. Oh God. God damn, no, 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 please, please get away from me, please get away from me, everyone get out, get out, get out, stop talking to me, don't look at me, don't look at me, stop looking at me, I will die if you look at me, Jesus Christ, stop. 
Yeah, I'm not stressed, guys. It's fine. It's it's fine. It's fine. All right, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. There's, there's no need to panic. I don't know why you would panic. That's crazy. That's you're an idiot if you think that I'm panicking. There's no reason to. Why would I do that? Come on. <sighs> okay, this character is a nightmare to play already. Oh god. <laughs> I got like a hundred HP. I got like fifteen dodge. I got thirteen armor. And if I get hit once, I can never fucking play the game again. It's all RNG if I if I get hit once by a Tarantella. Christ. Like I have no foreseeable like defense, no actual defense, other than just swarm enemies with stuff. That's my defense. Go, my goons! Attack! Attack my monsters! Yes! Ha ha! ha. Oh god! My wall dropped for a second, and I all the destruction snuck in. No, my nightmare. Emperor Scorpion. You know what beats an Emperor Scorpion? Multiple Hydras, two Mana Vipers, a Lightning Spire, and an Ice Beast. Exactly that many. In those proportions. Any more, any less, you'll, you're just basically wasting your time. Really. Because, you know, you'll never kill an Emperor Scorpion. Oh god, please don't. Please stop. Please stop. This is very disgusting. Please. Okay. <laughs> Singular enemy in melee. My god, what a nightmare. Alright, so summons, as you can see, very effective at dealing with this area. Uh, but me, personally, not good. <gasps> I need two of these out immediately. One of these out, two of these out. And I need a summoning scroll as well. Everything must die. Nothing on the screen is allowed to live. I need to just keep summoning. I need to... S don't stop summoning. Don't stop summoning. Just keep summoning stuff. It doesn't matter what they are. Just keep summoning. You don't want to ever have enemies, you know try to be reasonable with you. That's fucked. That's stupid. Why would you do that? Never never, never play within your means as a mummy. Just play excessively, loudly, as ridiculously as you can. Just completely obscenely and out of proportion. Just don't worry about it, guys. There's no reason to be frivolous. What What are we wait, waiting for? Like, we're just, your food? Your time? Who cares? You're a mummy. You don't have any of those problems. Oh god, there's a Tarantella in melee with us. Oh god, this is a nightmare. Someone help. Someone get me out. Holy shit, I'm dying. Holy shit, someone stops. <laughs> this is this is the classic mummy strategy. It's like complete grandeur, uh, delusions of grandeur uh, mixed with manic episodes of just panic and disgust. Oh god, get me out. Go, attack. Do we get him? No, we didn't get him. Why is he confused? Is he an idiot? Oh, I think we distracted him with our goal. It's good for us. Okay, let's walk back here. All right, where's where's our upstairs? Please tell us there's an upstairs here. We got three scrolls of magic mapping. That's not really good. Oh, we should have picked up some robes. If that's a fire resistance robe or something. That that'd be real nice. So let's go look upstairs. Or for an upstairs, sorry. Let's grab a couple of dudes with me. It looks like the oh shit, we have no chance against this character. We need a push and petition right now, and we need to get haste, agility, resistance, and flight. Then we need to get as many allies as we can to attack him, particularly the lightning beasts, because they'll do a lot of damage to him. Um, and they'll stop him from doing his ridiculous nonsense. Oh, don't be next to me, please. Go, get him. P team! Oh god, team. Oh shit. Oh, that's really bad. We need to teleport right now. Uh, why is our life so bad? Uh, we need uh invisibility and agility or invisibility. Yeah. Invisibility, agility. Uh, god damn it. Um, we have no way of healing this. We need to just walk away. We need to walk away. We need just Oh god, why are there so many things? No, this is the egg. this is the outer edge of this floor. Fuck. Oh no. No, we're in nightmare mode now, boys. What the fuck? Why is this floor so bad? Holy shit, someone save us. Oh god, we're cowering. We're cowering. We're in the corner, boys. Oh god. This is a nightmare. <laughs> someone stop. I want to get off this ride. Holy shit. 
Okay, okay, okay. Now we, now we got the lag. That's good. That'll tell us to slow down, except we won't slow down because this ride has no brakes. Um, because if it did, it wouldn't be mummy, right? All right. So Nicola's somewhere over there. We don't. Oh, never mind. He's right over here. We need to potion petition again. We actually need to potion petition again for resistance. I know that seems crazy, but we we need it because otherwise we'll die. Like I'm pretty sure that one shotting us isn't out of the question without low health. We have very low health. All right, so we just waste like a ass load of money. That's fine. That's what the money's for. Just a nice piggy bank worth of gold to, um, you know, in case we need it for a rainy day. Gotta go pick this glowing robe up. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, it's ooh, it's, ooh, spicy. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. So now we have RF as well on top of whatever the hell we had before. So we've we've basically become invulnerable. This character is literally unkillable. There's no chance of this character dying in any situation. Like I said, you just gotta play it up. If you if you if you say it for long enough, it becomes true, right? That's that's what they say. Oh fuck. So you see that confusion there? We can't get out of that. I don't think potion petition works while you're confused. So, yeah, if you get hit by a Tarantella, you, good luck. You're dead. And actually, never mind. We don't have to hit by a Tarantella. We can just get hit by an enemy. Jesus Christ. <gasps> they actually change entry weavers. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure they don't, like, spam anymore. Uh, quite as hard as before. Which makes them a lot more bearable. Uh, it's one of those like kind of unsaid changes, but I haven't really seen an entry weaver do much to me, so I'm assuming that the fire rate went down. I think I saw a thread on, on it about their cost rate going down, which is good because, like I said before, they were absolutely bonkers. Oh no, you're gonna poison arrow me. That's gonna go through my poison. Res oh wait, I have infinity poison resistance. Oh shit! Of course you have might. Of course you have might. Why would you not have might? That'd be ridiculous if you didn't have might. Get him. Thank you. Kill. Please. Mercy is not one of my strong points. Uh, no scrolls of identify. Nothing to identify, really. Get away from me, Tarantella, you fucking asshole. Run away, run away, run away. Good strats. Oh god, there's stuff next to me. Oh god, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. What do I do? What do I do? Oh god, just keep summoning. Don't stop summoning. <laughs> this character plays very... Look at that. He only corroded me once. This character is... Entropy Weavers are actually, like, bearable now. Holy shit, that's so fun. That's so much better. I don't know, like... If they don't just... Oh, come on. Give me quadruple RF, double regen... Uh, in plus 12, uh, evade plus 35, slay plus 2. And strength minus 5, that actually doesn't matter at all. That actually doesn't matter at all. And it gives us Arcroat and 3 AC. I will take that. Thank you very much. My god, what a great, what a great thing. 8 strength, who gives a shit? We're never gonna go past robes anyway. We can't afford to. We can't get gold dragon armor. Oh, sorry. What do you call it? Uh, any dragon armor or troll other armor because of our uh, our welfare benefits. It disables you know certain privileges. Also, what's that ring mail? I'm kind of curious. I wonder if this character needs ring mail. This character needs ring mail. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, this character really needs ring mail. Holy shit, this character needs ring mail. 6% to to 14. That's fine. I don't care at all. That's really good for us. Man, that's good. Oh, man, that's delicious. Let's turn the summoning uh, focus down. Focus a little bit harder on dodging for now. Uh, but yeah, that's that's really good for us. Oh, no, no, it's not because we need to actually cast that spell. I forgot. Uh, this is really bad. Let's get a Hydra. Let's get some allies, please. Okay. 
See, the reason why I want this uh, ring mail is because not only does it give us like a sick number of resists, but it also gives us access to another RF while also being a plus six ring mail, which is really good. Um, which means that I should be trying to use it as much as I can uh, in terms of armor. It gives us access to armor. All right, so we managed to pick up some pretty hefty like things now. We have some good resists other than our elect, but the main source of our elect uh, electric damage. Oh wait, no, no mind. I forgot. This is 0 0.20. There's plenty more electric damage. Whoops. It's okay. Those ones are slightly more balanced than Nicola. Oh wait, no, they're not. Well, what am I saying? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I guess we don't need the scarf of immunity anymore. I mean, do we really? What 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 do we need to be immune to? We don't care about mutagenic stuff. I don't think we can even rot anymore. Pretty sure we can't rot. But yeah. I don't know. It should be okay. You're in touch with the powers of death. Oh right, that increases our um that increases our necromancy pool. I need two of these and one of these, and I need to tell them to wait so that they just start attacking whatever the hell's chasing me. Okay, I hope that died. Oh, it actually did kill a ghost moth. Nice, sweet. Thanks. Thankfully, it told me that. That's interesting. I don't know why I knew that would that the uh, log here would tell me that I killed a ghost moth, but you know, it happens. Go, go, my goons, attack. I feel like, uh, oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Oh, that's ultra not good. Let's get out of here. There we go. Let's just get our summon cloud again. Oh yeah. <sighs> just yeah. Let 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 my let my let my posse take care of things. I don't need to worry about this kind of thing. These enemies are below me. I will just sit here in a cloud of my own allies. Never have to worry about anything. Go go go. All right. Let's go upstairs actually, just to get our mana back. There's really no reason for us to like panic about this kind of thing. I feel like the extra mana isn't really helping us right now. I'm actually very tempted to just go to the wizardry ring to make this uh Hydra summon more consistent, but that seems kind of ridiculous. Also, we're about to get Tarantellid. Oh god, please no. Thank you. Jesus Christ, that scared me. Okay, so we're gonna just summon a bunch of stuff here just to stop that guy from uh that orb spider from attacking us. The imps are kind of like shit versions of butterflies because I can't summon quite as many of them per turn and they cost more mana, but they also kind of do damage. Not really, but like at this stage in the game they do not do competitive damage. Let's not lie to ourselves. Um but they do function kind of like butterflies. Okay. I'm being pretty careful to uh to respect the summon limits um you can see that i start casting spells i start i stop casting certain uh summons when i have enough of them on the screen it's a little bit hard to understand in real time but you know it's not a it's not a science i don't need to optimize every single movement it's fine I can afford to miscast, with 60 MP I can afford to miscast, or just recast a couple of things, it's not a big deal. Oh, my wog got berserked, that's funny. Yeah, generally speaking, you want to kind of rotate through your summons like that, so you have a couple of summons of each. Uh, it's it's the most, like, basic reaction, I guess. For this version, we don't need that, actually, because we already have a scarf. But as you can see, when I just kind of... Uh, whenever I'm like just in a situation and I see stuff, I just cast all my spells in a nice rotation there. It just makes it so that everything comes out evenly and I don't have any particular weaknesses. Like, for example, having a too squishy team or having something that's... Uh, I need to make sure I have seen Invis just in case. You know what I mean? Just that kind of stuff. I What just happened? Do we have Reflection? Uh, wait, what? We don't have Reflection. How the hell did that... Why did that... Orb destruction just bounce off us. What? That was confusing. We don't have reflect. What? I'm confused. Okay. Well, that's fine. This could be a scroll of holy words. So I'm just gonna. Yeah. Okay. It's a scroll of silence. That's even worse. So we're just not gonna have it on. Obviously, for a caster, uh, silence is death. 
That's why Menace is just such a powerful enemy. Just destroys you. Oh, an apple. I remember when we used to eat those. Oh, hell yeah, dude. We got the uh, undead tomb looking uh, spider four, which makes it fairly easy for this character. We don't have any issues with uh, dealing with, you know, all the regular woes of being alive, so we should be okay. All the random stuff that the death scarabs and such try to do to us, it doesn't affect us at all. Like I said before, um, I can't reiterate it enough. The mummy is all about just feast or famine. There is no such thing as in between. There is no halfway point for a mummy. It's just either you're, you're dying and you suck or you're the best character alive. Like, even the resistances kind of go that way. You're like, either you're completely immune to torment or you're just exploding at the slightest touch of fire. It's just, it's rough. We're the elect, ec eclectist. Ele eclect, what the fuck? Ec ec elect, ecl, ec, lecticist, electicist. There we go. <laughs> it sounded like I was just clicking my tongue, or my throat. I was like, what the fuck was that? Uh, this is, uh, he is just shredding through all of my allies. Okay. Okay, this is happening. How is this happening? Okay, what is that? Jesus Christ. It's, it's, it's tearing through my summons. What? Okay, let's pull out of this area. This is just too dangerous for us. We need to run away. Oh god. See, that's why you run away kind of early. If we are running away at 1 HP, we'd be in worse shape. But thankfully, running away at 10 HP. That's a little bit better. Hmm. You know, honestly, training a tiny bit of armor might actually be making more sense right now. But, eh, yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, actually, we'll train some more armor right now. We'll get to, like, 5 or something like that. I just want to see if it will reduce the spell casting penalty enough to get my uh, summon hydra down a little bit more. I'm not comfortable with it being at 12%. It's just a bit too high for me. I'm still using it, but you know, there's that slight bit of discomfort. For a couple of points, I can buy myself peace of mind and an extra couple of points of AC. It's pretty cheap, so I'll do it. Hell yeah. All right. Interestingly enough, the warg is the only thing that keeps surviving consistently in these fights. It's weird how weak these are. Uh, Modified this can be sometimes. Even though they're like, I told you guys that they're the strongest of the summons that we have. Probably even stronger than the uh, Hydras, honestly. Because they actually can dodge sometimes. Okay. We want to just kind of stand in this corridor a little bit and wait for stuff to come to us. We don't really need to uh, rush it right now. Oh, I'm actually failing to respect the summon limit here. It's making my allies just disappear over, all over the place. It's kind of pointless. Okay. One thing that you can sort of abuse, uh, not really though, is the fact that uh, when you have a summon limit and you go overboard, uh, sometimes your, your stuff lasts a little bit longer than um, instead of just instantly disappearing. So you can sometimes have four ice beasts up. I do notice that, but it's very hard to... Uh, it's very hard to actually, like, abuse because most of the time your summons aren't just always sitting there and the new one that you summon is usually next to you not like right in the middle of combat so it's kind of hard to abuse but I do notice that and you know it, it does give you a little bit more freedom sometimes but generally generally speaking for efficiency uh, efficiency sake you should just you know focus on oh god there's a moth of wrath oh wait that doesn't work on me I can't go berserk See what I mean? Feast of Famine, guys. Either you, either it, it horribly works terribly well against you, or and you just die screaming in the night every time you see one of those things, or you're completely immune to it and it doesn't affect you at all. Just, what, what a great race, guys. What a great race. Like, everything is either plus 15 or negative 100. Unfortunately, they're in a spot now where it's kind of like negative 100 is more often than plus 14. Where are the scarabs? What the hell? I swear this place had scarabs. I'm not crazy, am I? Maybe they changed this this vault. But I should be seeing some death scarabs right now. I'm just seeing some dead stuff. It's completely different. Where, where are you guys at? Oh. Ah, see, this is where my uh, C invis allies come in handy. 
God, this warg is an idiot. He keeps getting caught on stuff. This dog is dumb as shit. Oh, that's right, because this door's here. Okay, nice. Go, get him, guys. I can't do anything, so please get him. Please get him. Thank you. Damn, Ghost Moth's actually surprisingly not a huge deal on this character. Uh-oh, the Entropy Weaver opened the door. Shit. Shit. Go, my team. I'm going to be ready to teleport out at any second. There's no reason for us to uh, risk ourselves unnecessarily. Okay, let's pull away. Get some allies. Wait, what the hell are these Death Scarabs? What? Do they remove them from the game? Probably. Unless those are... No, those are zombies. What? Where is Where are the Death Scarabs? What? Where are they? This vault's let me down, man. <laughs> I was, I was, I was told they'd be death scarabs. Whatever the hell they're called. I don't even know what they're called. Are they in the game? Let me just scarab. Yeah, there we go. Death scarab. Where are they? What? Where they go? Are they not in this vault anymore? I played this vault like in the tournament. What? I was, I was, this was me. Oh, there they are. Hey, hey guys. I was just, I was just talking about you. Ooh! Holy shit, we're teleporting. Oh, uh, we gotta teleport. We gotta get out of here. We gotta leave. Holy shit, that was scary. In like less than half a second, I was on uh, three quarters HP. And I was already slowed. Like, that was terrible. Holy shit. Okay, I, I regret asking for the Death Scarabs. I was joking, guys. It was a mere prank. There was no, there was no serious intention behind it. Alright, let's just uh, sneak around this side, get some summons up early actually, because we know we know they're going to be there, so we should just get the summons up, so we have a little bit of time to regen the mana, we have a little bit of time to uh, set the fight up, and also all our summons are up early, so then they get to fight uh, from the get-go, rather than having to summon them all one at a time like I'm doing now. That's three of those guys. Oh, thank god they're all dead. Whew. Spicy. Alright, Summon Hydra is at 11% still. That's kind of disappointing. God, I can't tell what's mine and what's theirs. <laughs> okay. Whew, spicy. Let's get let's get ourselves this rune, eh? Hey, these Ambrosia potions. I wish I could use those. Oh wait, no I don't, because I couldn't be able to cure out of them anyway. Well, that's so pointless. Alright. Oh, just get some summons. Just get them all. This is the fastest goddamn summoner ever. It's funny. Alright. Heading over to Shoals, but again, gonna end the video here. Um, but, uh, yeah. This character is actually a hell of a lot more fun than I was expecting. And then again, I knew he was gonna be fun. Let's get rid of Summon Small Man. We don't really need that. Um, so, next video, we'll probably be doing Shoals and a bit of Bolts. We want to get some more defenses up now, I think. Our summoning is pretty good, but we kind of want more, just because we can. Probably can turn spellcasting off, because, you know, we're only using it for the mana. It doesn't do anything else. Uh, summoning still wants to be on forever, pretty much. Uh, Book of Callings, we actually already have that. Book of Beasts, we have everything in there, except some butterflies. There's nothing in here. Spellforge server we don't want. Book of Unlife. Life. We can get recall, but that's really not that necessary. We can just summon more stuff instead. So you know what? I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow.